Yeah, you know, I think competition makes both parties better um, in every situation, really. So in the meeting room, film, um, you know, everything, taking notes, showing up on time, workouts, obviously practice, reps. So, I mean, there's balance in all of it, and I think it makes us both better. Do you, do you feel like you're being judged in almost everything you do because it's a competition? Um, I mean, I think we're judged in everything we do because we're a college athlete, you know, playing at the highest stage, so it has to be that way. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, yeah, everything we do is judged. You coaches talk about telling you guys, like, trying to take some of that pressure off, right, not thinking every throw is determining this. Is that is – that, something that, that you do have to that's kind of hard to, to do yeah you know that's hard to do um because it does feel like every throw is judged and you know every throw determines what's going to happen obviously it's not like that um you know the number one goal for spring ball is just individual player development so how can we make um every player and myself the best version of ourselves um and at the end of the day that's what spring ball is about um but it is hard to think through that lens that perspective Um, you know, I just learned a lot about um, what college football is like. Um, I just got a little bit more experience under my belt, and I think that will um, pay dividends just going into this season, just feeling more comfortable, um, and just uh, learning the speed of the game a little bit more. And from that, what are the you know, biggest things that you're trying to kind of improve on um, after getting more of that you know, in-game college experience? Yeah, you know, I would just say I want to be more comfortable out there uh, going through my progressions and uh, trusting what I see as far as defensive ID and, um, yeah, just being more comfortable. What's been the difference for you guys from last year having Coach Drinkwitz being, being the guy there every practice and now it being Coach Hamm? Um, You know, it's a little bit different. Obviously, we're getting coached by um, a different coach, so there's going to be changes. But at the end of the day, it's the same offense. Um, and, you know, they share a lot of the same – coaching tactics and uh, you know they're telling us a lot of the same stuff so um, it all flows into one and it's really not too much of a change. Is Coach Drinkwood still pretty hands on with you guys? I mean he, he's during every practice? Um, yeah you know I mean he's still a quarterback's coach um, at heart <laughs> even though he's not in every meeting with us and whatnot so yeah you know he still coaches us up whenever he can um, but you know he has given us a little bit of space too. Brady, how, how much how many reps did you get with the first team last year with Um, you know, my first team reps last spring were limited. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that will be big again uh, this spring, just getting more reps with that group, building chemistry with those guys. Um, I didn't get a lot of that last year, so that will help a lot. Brady, once you were able to move past the disappointment of how the bowl game ended, how did you feel about how you played and how, how, what did you take away from that experience? Um, you know, I was impressed with some things I did. and. Um, I just saw it as a huge learning experience and just a great opportunity. You know, it was uh, some of the most fun I've had playing football. Um, you know, I was super excited about it. Um, and, you know, I've moved on pretty quick and excited about what's to come. Brady, what's your relationship with Tyler and how are you guys embracing the competition with each other? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun. Um, I mean, this is why we play football. You know, we're brothers and, you know, we love competing. Um, I'm sure, you know, me and him have been competing our whole lives, so this isn't anything new. Um, it's not personal. Um, but, yeah, it's a blast. What's something you maybe learned about Tyler that you maybe didn't know before through the competition? Um, hmm. Man, I knew him pretty well just before a couple of weeks ago. So um, I know him and Luther Burden have a pretty good connection. Uh, I met him in high school. Uh, we trained at the same place in St. Louis. What do you think of the, the draft ahead of the, the spring game? Yeah, mm. that's, that's big time. Um, see, see where I get picked up at, and uh, you know, just got to stay humble and get ready for Saturday. How much lobbying is happening in the locker room? Uh, you know, there's some chatter. Um, and uh, there's some game plans and strategies going down. You know, I hear Barrett Bannister, he's been talking strategy and whatnot. So, you know, we'll see. It'll be fun. Who do you think the first overall pick should be? Man, I would pick Trajan Jeffcoat. 
I don't want him in my face in the spring game. What's the biggest thing you've learned about Tyler since he got to campus? Um, he's just a really genuine dude. Um, he doesn't tell a lie, and uh, you know he he says what he thinks. So you're gonna um, you're gonna get whatever uh, he gives you. He's gonna give you the truth. So that's one thing I could take away. Uh, it's exciting. Um, competition's good. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to make us better, and uh, it's going to add to it. So, Brady, this will be the fans' first look at you since the bowl game. What are you hoping to show everybody uh, at the spring game on Saturday? Um, you know, I'm just sh hoping to show everyone uh, that I can push the ball down the field a little bit, um, complete some passes down the field, um, obviously continue to show my athleticism and the way I can use my feet. Um, and extend plays, um, but then again, really just to show my leadership and you know how I've developed and developed relationships with my teammates and how I can lead the offense. So I mean, uh, that's a lot of stuff wrapped up in one. But really, at the end of the day, I want to just score some touchdowns and have a good day. You mentioned you know training in high school with Tyler. I mean, what's it like to you know think you know guys are doing that now? I mean, back then, and now you guys are you know competing for you know starting position here. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to think about. Um, that's a super full circle moment. I mean, that was three, four, five years ago. Um, you know, now we're competing for a job in the SEC. So that's super cool to think about. Um, that's just the way football goes. Most teams in the SEC kind of have a returning guy, quarterback, especially in the East. What's it feel like to be kind of the big part of the big question mark on this team? I mean, is that something you enjoy and embrace? People, surprise people. Yeah, I embrace it. Um, I don't know what the other option feels like, so this is all I know. Um, shoot, feels pretty good. Anything else for Brady? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anything else? Thank you, sir.